am so excited because I'm going to be starting a pan that polish. If you're returning, it is so nice to see you again. And if you're new here, my name's Tiana. I post a lot of lifestyle videos. I post a lot of empties and project pans. And today I'm actually going to be starting a pan that polish. And I'm really excited because I have been watching a lot of pan those polishes videos. And I wanted to do one for myself because I've been really wanting to get like gray nail polish or a nude nail polish, but I know if I buy a new nail polish, I'm not going to use the ones that are in my current collection. So let's start a pan that polish. The first thing I want to mention is this one is actually empty. This is an SE and I did finish it in 2021, which is really exciting. The only reason why I keep this around is because whatever is left or whatever is goopy or anything like that, I use to mark my project pan items usage. Half the time, honestly, it doesn't even work for that. This one here is definitely gone. It is you know, considered decluttered and everything like that. So this one is out of my collection, but I did want to mention this is floating around kind of as a project pan marker. And this was the one that I actually had included in my project pan. I do project pans monthly, so if you want to check that out, make sure to subscribe. In about a week, I will be posting my project pan update for February, but this one was rolled into the project to use four times, and I did use it four times. I actually ended up using it five times. By the time the video goes up, it'll probably be about six times because I do want to redo my nails. But as you can see here, I did already mark it because I did hit the four times. And when I used this one four times in my project pan, I thought, let's actually do a pan that polish because I just figured if I'm able to use it easily, let's do a pan that polish. In total, I have seven nail polishes that I do want to work through. I know that I'm not going to be able to use all of these up by the end of the year. I know that, but I would really like to use them up just a little bit more or even finish one. If I can finish one more, I would be so happy because I would like to bring in one or two new colors, but for sure, I really want to work my way through these just a little bit more. So I'm going to show you the colors that we're going to be working through. Then we are going to do a random number generator to pick one and then decide how many times I'm going to use it for the month of March. The first one here is actually the Blue Orally. Like I said, I did use this in February, so I'm not going to be including it in this rotation just because I have already used it. That was really close. Um, I have already used it. I am tired of the blue, which is how come I will be rolling it out and picking a new shade. I have the Sally Hansen 239 405 Coral Wreath. It's a really, really pretty shade. I have 189 Mauve Over, which I absolutely love. This one here is probably the newest in my collection and it is the least like used and the best condition. I have 579 red carpet, which is this really nice red with some shimmers in here. This one I've had for a while and if I put it up to the light, I'm like right here on it. So this one would be fun to try and actually finish up because I do have some really good progress on it. The next one here is actually the Essence Shine Last and Go Polish. This one actually doesn't have as much product as the other one. So this one, I feel like I could make some really good progress in it. It's not super old, so I don't see myself being able to finish it, but I would really like to at least make some good progress with this one. The next one that I really do want to actually try and finish is the Essie, which one is this? Congrats in 1029. If I put this up to the light, I am about where the eye is. So I would really like to try and finish this one here. So I feel like if I roll one of these two in, I would probably keep it in and try and use it up. I think that would be fun. And then the other one set the usage goal. But the last one is actually the Lasting Finish Pro from Rimmel London. This one I do actually have like good usage out of, but I'm not able to see it very well. But this one too, I would just set a usage goal because this one I've used, but not too, too much. Okay, so I have them all lined up right here. I'm actually going to take a picture of them so that we can see the numbering, but it's going to be one through seven. So we are able to see 
like which one's number one through seven. But anyway, let's go to a random number generator and I'm going to record this. It's number five. So let's see what number five is back here. Number five is actually the Essence Shine Last and Go. So this one here, like I said, is more of a usage goal. This will be fun for a month to actually have a usage goal to get more progress out of. I figured I would do one through 12 for the usage goal. So let's see how many times I should use this in the month of March. And now let's click generate and it's four. So for the month of March, my goal is to use this four times. If I use it more, I use it more, but it's going to be to use this color four times. So that will be fun to see. So what I'm gonna try and do is figure out where exactly I am and mark it. So for a usage, if I use it to paint my fingers, that's one use. If I use it as touch-ups, that's another use. If I use it for my toes, that is another use. So that's how I will count my usage. Let me know in the comments down below if you are trying to use up any of your nail polishes this year or if you're trying to just use up some of your products. The update for this video will be at the beginning of April along with my empties and my project pan. I would also like to start a pan those eyeshadows also so if you're interested in that content, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when those are uploaded and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.